We're in the three, two, one. Here we go. But remember, you can always blend it out. Don't oh, get nervous. Oh, Lord. Yes. Okay. So just bring it in further. Yep. Yeah. time for Face It with me, Tracy P. I'm super excited to announce that Shoppers Drug Mart, where it's all about new, is on board to sponsor the second season of Face It. Now in every episode, we're gonna be showing you their latest and greatest products with a healthy slice of real talk and some beauty tips along the way. Now when it comes to having you looking and feeling your best, I've got you covered. Now speaking of having you covered, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss an episode. Face masks, long soaks in the tub, and for me, a long marathon of bad reality TV show on Netflix. Have you guessed it? We're talking about self-care with my favorite YouTuber, Amanda Muse. I'm gonna show her how to do a quick, and it's important that it is quick, because she is a busy, busy mom. The three-dimensional eye in one, two, three steps. One, two, three, three steps. So buckle up, here we go. Strap on your seatbelt. Amanda, thank you for joining me here on Face. I'm super excited to have you here. I'm thrilled to be here. Now, I know you are such a busy mom. I know that you don't have a lot of time, but it doesn't mean that you don't want to look good. Exactly. Like, we all want to look good. Mm -hmm. We're at home, most of us. Yeah, I'm working at home. Working from home. Yep. Occasionally, I need to put on things other than sweatpants. You know? <laughs> so you like to put on a little makeup. I do, I mm -hmm. do. I love playing with makeup. I find it's a nice way to just like slow down in your day and just feel put together. Because you know, when you kind of go from like mom mode, making lunches, to then quick into work in your pajamas and house coat, it doesn't quite have the same effect, you know? It's so funny that you say that because that, that, that's like your moment to kind of like breathe and relax. For me, because I do it all day, that just seems like work to me. So for me, like when I'm home, the last thing I want to do is put a face of makeup on. Like that is the last thing. I don't even like Zoom calls because of it. I'm like, oh, the Zoom call, I have to go put something on my face. Like I, to me, it seems like work, but obviously for obvious reasons, I do it for a living. So as you me, can tell, yeah. like, <laughs> thank you. But yeah, it doesn't, it's not, to me, it's not like, oh yeah, this is my time to relax. It's like, no, this is kind of like work. And like, I want to, re I want relaxing to me is laying on the couch and watching reality TV. Oh, I do like that too. Yeah. Yes. But I find like I really make it like a self-care moment. Like literally mm. if my husband comes in the room, because he's home right now too, and starts talking to me, I'm like, no, 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 no. It's podcast time. <laughs> it's podcast and FaceTime. Like I just and I'm I feel like I do it like when I was 16. I sit on the floor in front of my mirror in my bedroom mm -hmm. and I just like to play and then when I pass the mirror later in the day, I just feel like, oh, I'm a little put together. Mm -hmm. I don't look as tired as I feel. Even if you're wearing sweatpants with holes in it, you're like, but look at yeah. my face. Yeah, and as a YouTuber, you only see from the waist up. So like, you wear whatever you want on the bottom, you know? <laughs> exactly. so, yeah, it's definitely like a self-care situation. When we talk about self-care, I like to think about how I treat my body and what I put on my skin. Just like you, my skin in the winter is dry. Very, very dry. I mean, you could grate cheese on my elbows and my heels. <laughs> Shoppers Drug Mart carries one of my favorite moisturizers. This is the Eucerin Aquaphor Healing Ointment. This stuff is powerful and it works wonders, especially on the rough parts, like your hands, elbows, and feet. Just lather it on after a shower and your skin will be baby smooth. And it's fragrance free. Thank you, Eucerin. I'm gonna be showing you how to do the one, two, three, three step, three dimensional eye. And it's all about definition. It's very quick, so I know it sounds complicated and I know you need quick. I need quick too, let's get real. I'm a makeup artist, but I don't wanna do anything that's too complicated as well. It's gonna be that the one, two, three steps, it's about all about creating an, your eye and creating depth to the eye. That's what it's all about. Sounds so perfect. So that's what I'm gonna teach you today. I'm empowering you, Amanda. So <laughs> don't get scared. I'm gonna give you the makeup brush and I'm gonna walk you through this. I wanna prove to everybody that anybody can do this. I mean, if I do it on you, people say, oh, that's sure, that's great, Tracy, a makeup artist, you did it. I wanna prove that you can do it. All right, I, are, are you feeling confident? <laughs> I accept this challenge. Okay, look at that, let's you're do very this. brave. All right, let's do this. Okay, so let's just apply the base color. Okay, so you were saying close to my skin tone. Yeah, it's something kind of that's light. very, yeah, very like a medium kind of color, something okay. that's very similar to Should your I skin. Should I tap? Oh, I like how you tapped. Very nice. 
You need I've to seen tap the YouTube videos. Oh yes, you need to tap. Oh, you can just keep going. I'll explain okay. to everybody why you need to tap. You need to tap because you want to get rid of the excess eyeshadow. If you just go straight on, you're gonna get a lot of fall down. Fall down is where you see all that eyeshadow that falls down into your face, and then you gotta get rid of it. You don't want that. Tap it. Always tap it. Or if you have a paper towel, just kind of like lightly sweep it and then go in. Look at that. You're already so ahead of the game. I'm going, I, just doing a clean sweep, just sweep. And we're just across like the main. Yeah, yeah, part just of How not high into up the, are we working? Okay, here? so you don't want to go into your crease. Okay. Okay, so I just want to show everybody where your crease is. Just look straight ahead to the camera. Your crease is right there. You don't want to go any higher. Do you want to hold up the mirror so you can look? Yeah, so like You the... don't want to go any higher than here. That's okay. your lid. That's okay. your lid. So this is step one. And speaking of number one, what is your number one thing you like to do for self-care? Oh, there's so many things. But I have to admit, you know, when it comes to self-care, I always try to share with myself and with others that it doesn't have to be these huge, you know, you don't have to go get a massage or get your nails done. Like for me, it's taking a walk, just being outside in nature. I have two dogs who, mm -hmm. you know, if I, if I utter the W word, it's game time. So I, love, I love a walk, you know, it breaks up my day. Right. That's for sure, I'd say my biggest thing. For me, honestly, it's a nap. Like, it seems so little and I feel like I'm five years old because that's what you have to give like five year olds. But for me, it just it's a game changer. Like sometimes you realize you're just overreacting to things or you're irritated and people like people are talking to you. And you're like, why is everything irritating me right now? I need a nap. I just need a nap. I just need to lay down for like maybe 40 minutes, maybe an hour. I don't know exactly what qualifies a nap. <laughs> Yes, my teeth obsession is real. I do like a good set of piano keys for teeth. You know what I mean? I not only like my teeth clean, but I like them white. Being all about new, Shoppers Drug Mart is carrying the Arc Teeth Whitening Pen, which helps keep my pearly whites white. What I love about this product is that it's no muss, no fuss. All you have to do is just paint it onto your teeth, and throw it in your purse. And you can do all of that without a mirror. Now that's talent. So Amanda, we're gonna go on to step number two now, I'm excited. okay? I'm excited, I'm excited. You gotta do the crease, okay? I know, don't get nervous, don't get nervous. I, although I will say this is the hardest step out of all the steps. It is. But it's not that hard, okay? okay? I'm ready, I'm learning. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna get a crease brush. So crease brushes are something like this. So they kind of come up to a point, okay? You wanna make sure you're using a crease brush because the tools are important. If you're not using a brush that is a, a crease brush, the crease might end up looking a little too harsh. It's not gonna be blended. Remember how I said you have a blending, your blending game was on point? This is gonna help you with your blending game. So you wanna make sure you go with something that comes to a point like this. So for you, I would just go with something like this. Okay. And you're just gonna lightly, remember, don't pick up too much. Okay, so you were saying light, yeah. medium. So this is, this is dark. This is dark. This is dark. Oh. So this is gonna create the shadow. That's what creates the three dimensional eye. No, 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 it doesn't have to be black. When people, don't get worried. People are like, oh my God, so this is where I pick up black and put it in my crease. <laughs> don't do that. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. You always wanna to build too. So okay. go with something like this. Oh, girl. Something like this or something like, like a brown. So just like pick it up and do you remember, just tap like you were we, doing. I got the tap. Okay. Okay, but is, does it matter if it's matte or frosted? Like. Very good question. I'm very impressed with her today. Anything? You don't want to go with frosted. Okay. Frosted is going to just reflect light and it actually brings your eye forward. You don't want the crease to be brought forward, you want it to recede. So when you always go with darker colors because it makes things recede and it absorbs the light, mm. right? So you're trying, to, you're trying to create a shadow. So when you're trying to create a shadow, you never want to go with shimmer. Gosh, you were an artiste. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Eh, hold on. I'm scared. I'm scared. Don't, don't I'm get scared. scared. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. Okay, so where am I going? So there's the bone here. Yep. Help me. Show me on your eye. Okay, I'll show just you. Show me with your, just a little bit. This is where you're gonna go, right in here, like a windshield wiper. Okay, so we're not going right too far towards the. Like, I mean, I got a lot of real estate up here on my eyes, so a lot of people who don't have a lot of room, they're gonna be like, "Oh, that's great, Tracy. I don't have all that room." But this is like where your eye goes okay. in, like here, the dent. That's where you're gonna aim. We're in the three, two, one. Here we go. But remember, you can always blend it out. Don't oh, get nervous. Oh Lord. 
Yes, okay, so just bring it in further. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, sweating. Don't, yeah, don't get nervous. You, this is this is what we want. This is what, oh, she's pretty Listen, good. if I can do it. She's very good. You can do it. That's what the thing, if you can do it, everybody. Oh no, but do you see the difference I'm even in the, in the, don't get scared. It's creating definition. You can even see the difference in yes. this eye and that eye. You can see, see it, it, right? So you're feeling confident now, huh? I am. Okay. Oh, Look okay. So do the other eye. Let's try to start the other eye, Amanda. Okay. Okay. Same thing, just a little bit of sweeping back and forth, and let's get into it. All right. Well, you know what, Amanda? We're talking about self care today, but like, We've been hearing self-care everywhere. It's all over social media, TikTok, Instagram. A lot of people I know, they're like, oh, I'm so sick of the self-care, but for me, I love it. You wanna know why? Tell me. Because I feel women for so long have been told and programmed to not take, of, take care of themselves. We are programmed to take care of everybody else and put ourselves last. So I'm all about, I'm all on board for any message that tells us to take care of ourselves, to stop what we're doing, think about ourselves, think about what's gonna make us happy in this moment and do it. Even yes. if it's five minutes, 10 minutes, think of yourself, put yourself first in that moment and take care of yourself. 100%. You know that messaging that's like, you know, it's the flight attendant thing. Like you, you put on your own oxygen mask before. Yes. So in my past life, I actually was a flight attendant for a hot minute. Oh, okay. Uh, how I met my husband. I was okay. a pilot. That's a story for another day. But anyway, but I love that. Like you can't pour from an empty cup. Mm -hmm. So I find even myself as a creator, like I put in those messaging sometimes into my, into my content. And I'm like, I know I've said this before like 40 times, but Sometimes you just need that gentle reminder that, yep. yeah, maybe when you're snapping at everyone and you're maybe not feeling as creative as usual and you're not feeling good about yourself, that narrative is negative, switch it up. Yep. Get some fresh air, take a nap, yep. you know, eat some enjoyable food, watch yep. your favorite movie. Like it, it doesn't have to be these big things. So Amanda, you know another thing I like to do in my nighttime routine? Tell me. I like to take care of my teeth. I don't go to bed if I feel my teeth are dirty, I need to clean them, and I like a deep clean before I go to bed. It's necessary. It, it is, for me, it is. I don't feel complete. So what I love about it is Shoppers Drug Mart is now carrying the new Philips Sonic Power Flosser. Mm. What I love about it is it gets in the nooks and the crannies, like really gets in the nooks and the crannies. Like we focus so much about like the surface of the teeth and buffing the teeth, but we don't worry about getting in between. And what I love about it, it just gets right in there. Right in Look there. Look how cute it is. And another thing about it is that it's quiet. Mm. It's quiet. It has the word power in the title, so you might think it sounds like a jackhammer because it's so powerful, and it is powerful, but it's quiet, and that's what I love about it. I find like before I get into bed with my book, which is like my favorite thing, I need to be clean and warm. Me I feel too. like, especially right now, I gotta hit that shower, mm -hmm. get all sudsed up yeah. before I get into bed. Have you tried this new cleanser from Dove? This is their new Body Love line. Okay, so yes I have. Okay. So you know how we talk about like skincare, how important mm -hmm. skincare is, hyaluronic, that is a word we've heard. Yep, Don't yep, ask yep. me to spell it, but <laughs> I know it's good. And it's it like, is. we put all these serums and moisturizers and I find this particular cleanser feels like skincare for the skin. It's like the serum you're applying. Well, and like hyaluronic acid is like that magic ingredient that's in everything. And you're right, it is typically in all of the skincare products that are, are for the face. And this one has it in, the, in their body wash. Now hyaluronic acid, what it is, basically I'm just gonna give you a real simple definition. It's gonna give you that extra boost of hydration. So it makes your skin feel nice and plump and juicy and it's gonna give you the plump and juicy. Sorry, I had to stop myself there. I didn't like it. I didn't like juicy. <laughs> So what the hyaluronic acid does is it just gives you that extra boost of hydration. It makes your skin feel really plump, really supple. And that's what I love about it. That's why they put it in all the skincare. Mm. But we gotta make sure that our face is matching our body. We pay so much attention to our face. So our face is like looking all flawless and then our body looks like something from Tales of the Crypt. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta, we gotta make sure that it matches, right? So that's what I love about this. They put the hyaluronic acid in it, so our body's gonna match the face. Don't, okay. Don't leave me hanging. All right. So I'm you want to finish step up? Three, yeah. Okay. Step three is the light color, okay? And this is gonna go right underneath your brow bone. I'm gonna explain to everybody why you need to do this. Putting a light color right underneath your eyebrow 
it just lifts everything, okay? So you wanna just lift the brow. It's not gonna give you a total facelift, but it's going to lift the brow, just give create an illusion of lifting it and opening up that area, okay? So what you wanna do- I'm just do giggling, because I feel like you get to an age where you're like, give me all the illusions. <laughs> like, I need to make it look like we've lifted. Yeah, that's yes. what I love about makeup. It is all an illusion. It's all an illusion. It's not really there. We're just making it look like it's there. Yes. So what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna go with a color like this one, so something very light, like two, three shades lighter than your skin tone. Okay. Okay, so no matter what skin tone you are, you wanna go with something two, three shades lighter. And you're gonna apply that right underneath the brow bone, and you can use the same brush that you use to go on your lid. So tell me, because I know I asked this before, but I feel like traditionally, I would go wanna go with a frosty shadow. Do it, does it have to be frosty? Can it be matte? It can be frost or matte. The whole thing before why I didn't want you to go with a frost in the crease is because I didn't want, to, I want it to recede. With this underneath the brow bone, we want it to lift. We want the light to bounce off of it. So you can go with a frosty or a shimmery type of color, or it can be matte. It's more about it being light in color. I feel like I'm gonna try uh, a You've matte. been doing so well so far, so I'm not nervous for you at all. This is the easy part. It's the light <laughs> color. Wait, I don't even remember which side I put it on. Okay, we can there do this. Right underneath the eyebrow. Like here. Yep, exactly. We're doing it. Exactly. Look it's that simple. Honestly. It's just gonna one, create- One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. It's that simple. Well, now I feel like I have like my, my toolkit. My self-care toolkit is all ready to go. You because are. like, you know, something as simple as like one, two, three. I feel like I can take this with me and do this because self-care shouldn't be tricky. It should be things yes, you like. And I like simple. nature and hot showers and makeup. <laughs> and makeup and get the three-dimensional eye. You've mastered it, I will say. I have to give you a round of applause. It looks fantastic. Are you confident enough to do the eyeliner? No, absolutely <laughs> not. Next time, next time. She knows when to pack it in. She knows when to pack it in and hang up her spurs. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm so glad you joined me today for this episode of Face It, Amanda. It was a pleasure, and now you have some makeup skills that you can take with you on the road. I'm Thank so you, Tracy. That. I mean, I think I think I might be heading to Shoppers right now because I need this brush. Yeah, yeah. Look at and this. You know what? And I need this too. And I'm taking this with me. <laughs> That's all right. Actually, I'm taking this too. <laughs> taking it all with me. Bye. See you in the next episode of Face It. <laughs>